Hello, I'm Mark Weber, and I'm here with The End of Love. I'm Molly Englehart, one of the producers of End of Love, and I'm here in this cauldron, in this hillside, uh, somewhere at Sunday. I'm just going to do some stretching. Okay. <laughs> I own um, a small chain of vegan ice cream parlors in Los Angeles called Kind Cream. And when we opened the very first one, he, I guess, saw the sign weeks before it was open and kept coming back every week. To see when it was going to open. We started talking, and I was like, I have a project that I'm working on. He was like, I have a project that I'm working on. And we sort of traded scripts. To walk into an ice cream <laughs> shop and have someone who was so willing and legitimately excited to do this, it felt it was it was so serendipitous. You'd think, I'm in a hot tub. <laughs> I'm sitting next to this beautiful woman in a bikini, and we're talking about how we met in an ice cream shop, and it was just like that, you know, I'm sure you're thinking, that can't be it. They must have like hooked up. We haven't. We're strictly platonic, <laughs> amazing friends. Which I know is it doesn't probably, seem like it, but it's which true, is I probably swear to God. why we're super great friends. So listen, you're trying to get your movie made, don't sleep with your financiers because you think it might be a good idea initially, but it's gonna fuck it all up in the long run, I promise you. There was so much hype and so many people saying how amazing it was, and we think it's amazing, but for a moment, right before the first screening, you're like, what if it's not? It's, it was one of the highlights of my life. Really. Uh, the audience was absolutely incredible. And, you know, having people come up to you with tears in their eyes, telling you how amazing it is, and, and thanking me for making the film that I did, it's just, it's unbelievable. It's like when so you realize that something that you did and you worked on so hard is touching other people in the way that they're like moved to be crying an hour after the screening. It's like a really gratifying experience. You know, as an artist, you live for moments like this, and I'll, I'll never forget it.